Fraser, in the short term, as David said, they have gone for Stephen Davis and Alex Ray. So they have two games before the international break. That's the key now, I suppose, is just getting to that international break. Limassol away on Thursday and then uh, St Mirren, actually, Alec Ray's old club on Sunday. What, what, are you, what are the expectations, do you think, then, just is it for these two games, just to really get the squad together, get two wins, and then stop and take a breather, the whole club? Well, absolute minimum has to be two wins, doesn't it? I've been to a couple of Rangers fans last night and they said it can't get any worse when I asked them what they thought of Stephen Davis and Alec Ray. Well, my argument for that was it could, because he could get dumped out of the League Cup. Uh, you could lose to St Mirren. You could have a very bad loss in Cyprus, which would put the Europa League progression um, under threat. So they, they need to win these next two games um, to get Premiership points on board before the international break and uh, to really get a foothold in that Europa League uh, group. I think uh, Stephen Davis is really interesting because we've always heard how much a leader he was as, yeah. as a player, both for Rangers and Northern Ireland. I always thought, and for speaking to a few players, he was one of those proper captains that led by example through his actions, rather than being the screamer or maybe your old-fashioned Graham Soonest type. Uh, that would have walked by the throat in the dressing room if required. So whether he can um, become that man in the dressing room that can forcibly get his his thoughts across, his um, his ideas across um, verbally, that, 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 that's what interests me. That's what always interests me when new managers come to the fore. Uh, I'm sure he'll have the respect to the dressing room, that's for sure. And then Alec Ray by his side, maybe he'll be the bad cop and the good cop, bad cop routine. I don't know, but it's certainly going to be a very interesting time. I think Stephen Davis deserves a shot. He deserves the respect. And uh, I'm just really interested to see how he gets on in the next five days or whatever it is. It's funny, David, because um, when Stephen Davis was uh, had that injury and Michael Beale was talking about Davis, he was saying... He was talking about his potential of being a coach and how it's good to keep him at the club. And he says, uh, you know, how good would it be to have a future Rangers manager at the club? Well, did they know that <laughs> 10 months later he'd be the manager and it wouldn't be Michael Beale? But it just, it's funny how these things work. But, uh, I mean, Fraser's right. He certainly, from the dealings that even we've had with him and from what players say about him, he certainly has that kind of potential, doesn't it, to, to, be, um, uh, to go into coaching or management. How long do you think the club will wait? How quickly do you think they need to make an appointment? Because a seven-point gap, you know, if it becomes ten or it becomes, you no, know, the season could completely unravel here. So there's still a lot of pressure on, you know, whoever it is in that dugout to make sure that the season doesn't completely collapse. No, absolutely. I, um, you know, I mean, there are only seven games gone. Um, Rangers' problem is the. Uh, Celtic, while not playing at their best, are still continuing to rack up the wins and like, they won't drop too many points. Um, so, you know, Rangers need to keep winning during this period. Um, the fact that they've got a couple of weeks international break is vital, obviously, because it'll give them a chance to reset. And like, while the players might get a bit of a break, um, you know, the directors and the people who are leading the recruitment process um, surely will be working their backsides off to make sure that by the time the ball starts rolling again at the end of the international break, there's a new manager in. What they have got in Davis is a uh, calmness. You know, he won't panic. He's a, he's a very kind of methodical um, guy. Uh, you know, by all accounts, pretty good coach. Um, however, that's obviously why Alex Ray has been brought in because, you know, I think there's a kind of perception of Alex that's, um, because of the kind of player he was, that he would smash people in the middle of the park and stuff like that. Alec Ray's a very, very good coach. He's got all his mm -hmm. badges. He's everywhere that Paul Ince has gone in England. Yeah. His first phone call is to Alex Ray to say, come yeah. and help me here. Um, Alex is not a mug. You know, I, th I think that he will do a, a, a really good job there. <laughs> but it always goes back to the tools that you have to work with. And yeah. that's, that, that's the problem are they going to get a tune out of Lammers and Dessers, etc.? Because there's nobody else to replace him at the minute just because of the injury list, as we touched on earlier. So it's an absolutely mammoth job for them. 